everyone, I'm Catherine and I'm here with Dr. Bacon for another Breakfast with Bacon and today we're going to be talking about gout. Ouch. Kind of is when it hurts in the big toe, right? Well, think about it. We've got to talk about gout. Um, there's two reasons that we kind of have gout. What are the biggest things? What causes gout? What's, what's, what's creating gout? The buildup of uric acid. Yeah, the buildup of uric acid and those come from the purines that are usually in, ready gentlemen, red meat and beer. Yeah, I know. Give me your man card. No, I'm just kidding. No, but it's not so much about doing that, but it's doing it excessively mm -hmm. because your body can actually process these purines and create uric acid. And then you get it dumped into the kidneys and then filtered out. But there's two reasons that you end up getting this gout or getting this kind of the, the buildup is one is that you're eating so much of it. You can't really break it down and you create more of that uric acid and it's too much of a burden to actually be broken mm -hmm. down. Then the other one is the kidneys. If they're slow to detoxify and you can't get the uric acid out, it will also kind of back up into the bloodstream and stay in the system and then pool in certain joints and create crystals. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. So now let's give you three things that we can do to help support the body, men. Of course, this is men's month. So men to help you support this so we can kind of try, try to knock down the actually production of the uric acid and then of course gout. So number one is going to be inflammation. So we've got to try and knock down the inflammatory response in our bodies. So a couple of those things would be turmeric. You can cook with turmeric. You can take turmeric. Ginger, you can cook that with that. Also water with lemon. Of course, more water we put in with of course the lemon, the more water we put in, the more it's going to filter out that uric acid, right? We need to have that water in there just to kind of help that everything work as optimally as we can as possible. And the other thing we would add in is cherry juice which is a great thing to kind of help with the uric acid, mm -hmm. right? So number two would be? Focusing on a purine-free diet. So like we mentioned earlier, things like beer and red meat are going to be really high in purines. Other things are going to be shellfish, your processed meats like sausages and bacons and salamis and all those kind of deli meats. Other things like sugar and starches, just got to reduce those as well. So just focusing on getting in lots of vegetables and some good quality meats. So whenever you're eating meat, you want to make sure that you're getting like organic grass fed, just making sure you're getting good quality meat. Yeah, I agree with that. That's awesome. So then number three is going to be supplementation and what we do. Well, we got to help the kidney. So number one thing that we're going to add in for the kidney is Arginex. Arginex helps the, the kidneys actually detoxify better. Um, it just helps that body work more efficiently and more effective. Not to treat gout, but this is one thing that we add in on a regular basis to help somebody that's supporting to try and watch with the buildup of the uric acid. Another thing is AC Carbamide. This is a cool product. The majority of this product is the Carbamide. Carbamide helps to mobilize fluid. So it also helps to change the electrical conductivity of like water. So it actually helps to pull water into certain directions and out of higher inflammatory or downregulate the inflammatory response. So ascites, things like this, other things that we're having, pooling of fluid, this is what we would use this AC carbamide for. It actually works really well for even swelling in the brain and things like that. But none of this is for treatment. It's just to support the body's ability to get those fluid levels down and manageable so the body then can detoxify and take care of itself. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things that we went over today, but if you have gout and you're trying to work through this, these are things that you can be doing. Now, if you have high blood pressure, you need to look around because that also with high uric acid, you can also see an increase in blood pressure. So those are things that you got to be paying attention to and not to mess around with because that high blood pressure can lead to other problems. So Catherine, thank you for this time. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you guys paying attention. We appreciate you sharing this with your friends and family. And we look forward to seeing you again on the next Breakfast with Bacon.